Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. So, this is the part 2 ng ating topic about operations and functions. Katulad na sinabi ko, we will do this part para magkaroon pa tayo ng further examples about operations and functions o yung kinoconsider natin bilang algebra of functions. So, nung first video natin, recap lang muna tayo, we had our introduction about this topic at nagkaroon tayo ng konting examples. So, let's go and solve for more examples about this topic. We have here an example given f of x, the function f of x is equal to 5x plus 1, and g of x is equal to 3x minus 2. Ito yung dalawang function natin. We have function f and function g. So, ito yung problem. Find f plus g of x, meaning i-add natin yung dalawang function, addition, and then we have f minus g of x mag subtract tayo ng function and then f times g of x we will do multiplication and f over g of x we will do the division of the two functions so let's start solving or adding the two functions with f plus g of x so ang formula natin dito if addition we will do f of x plus g of x. Yung value or expression, the value ng f of x is simply 5x plus 1. Lagyan natin ang parenthesis, plus 3x minus 2. Ganun lagi yung gagawin whenever you are substituting a value in close nyo muna sa parenthesis. And then since we're applying addition, Remove natin parenthesis. Though, para siyang without use, gawin natin proper way on how to do it. So, you will have 5x plus 3x plus 1 minus 2. As you can see, yung ginawa ko ngayon, pinagsama-sama ko na yung mga like terms. And then, at the end, simplify yung right side. Your f plus g of x is equal to 8x minus 1. This is the sum of the function f and function g. Now let's move on with f minus g of x. Ang formula na natin dito is you will have f of x minus g of x. Your f of x is equal to 5x plus 1 minus yung g of x nyo is equivalent to 3x minus 2. Yan. Ngayon natin sinasabi ko sa inyo. Uh, importante na yung close natin by parenthesis kasi as you can see meron tayo ditong subtraction sign wherein i-distribute natin yan dito sa ating subtrahend. So your new equation will be 5x plus 1 Ito naman, negative times 3x, you will have minus 3x, magbabago yung sign niya, and this is plus 2. And then, same thing, you need to combine like terms, kaya yung ating f minus g of x is simply 2x plus 3. Ito na ngayon yung difference of the function f and g. So, sa dalawang examples natin, I hope na natutunan nyo na yung process on how to add and subtract functions. So, let's move on with the multiplication and division of function. We need to find f times g of x. Formula natin, you have f of x times g of x. Yung multiply nyo lang. Your f of x is equal to 5x plus 1 by parenthesis and then your g of x is 3x minus 2. So, yan eh. Dalawang binomal yun sa loob ng ating parenthesis meaning we need to apply for a method. So, 5x times 3x it will give you 15x squared and then 5 times 5x times negative 2 that is negative 10x. 
Next natin is 1 times 3x, you will have plus 3x. And then 1 times negative 2, that is negative 2. So simplifying this expression, your f times g of x is equal to 15 x squared. Combine natin negative 10x plus 3x, that is negative 7x minus so this is the product of f minus g, f times g of x. So medyo messy ating solution. So let's move with the fourth operation. Kailangan natin hanapin is f divide g of x. So that is f of x, ito formula natin, over g of x. Ngayon ano, kailangan nyo rin palang sundan yung um, sundan yung arrangement ng letters kasi iba yung f of g f over g sa g over f. So yung f of x natin is 5x plus 1 while your g of x is 3x minus 2. Ngayon, since division to, check nyo if you can reduce or Simplify this fraction or this expression. Meron ba tayo pwedeng ma-factor out sa dalawang binomial na meron tayo sa numerator and denominator? Mukhang wala. Therefore, the quotient o yung value ng ating f of g of x is none other than 5x plus 1 over 3x minus 2. Ito na yung sagot natin dito. So, we're done with example number one, with addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of function f and function g. Now, let's move on with our last batch of examples. Example number the tire. And we have here, given the two functions, g of x is equal to 4x minus 3, and h of x is equal to x cube plus 2x, you need to find g minus h of x and h minus g of x. So, meron tayo ngayon dito dalawang panibagong function. We have g of x, g function, and the function h. So, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo na yung arrangement ay importante rin in operation of functions. So, una natin gagawin, we need to get the difference of function g and h you have g minus h of x. So, ang formula niyan, since nauna si g, you will do g of x minus h of x. Kailangan sundan nyo itong nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, substitute natin yung value. Your g of x is equal to 4x minus 3 in close by parenthesis minus your x cubed plus 2x. Since meron tayo dito subtraction sign, magbabago lahat ng sign dito sa loob ng ating parenthesis, or ng subtrahend. So that will be 4x minus 3, negative x cubed. Wait. Negative x cubed minus 2x. Simplify lang natin. So, your g minus h of x is equal to, unahin natin yung may mataas na exponent, negative x cubed. And then, combine natin tong 4x and negative 2x, you have plus 2x minus 3. Ito na yun yung value ng g minus h of x. So, ito na tayo. Let's go with our last example. We have h minus g of x. So, expect natin na the difference of this example is, is different from the previous one kasi makaiba nga sila ng arrangement. So, the formula, since nauna si h, you will have h of x 
minus g of x. So, yung h of x natin is x cubed plus 2x. And close by parenthesis, minus your g of x, you have 4x minus 3. And then distribute natin yung negative sign. That is x cubed plus 2x. So we have 4x minus 4x plus 3. Simplify natin your right side. Therefore, your h minus g of x is equal to x cubed minus 2x plus 3. Ito na yan. So, the answer is x cubed minus 2x plus 3. So, I hope na given this set of examples, natutunan nyo yung mas malalim pa yung ating uh, operations of functions o yung algebra functions. So, maraming salamat sa inyong pag -ano. Again, I am Teacher Gon. God bless.